staying in the Midwest. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's pretty sweet, right? <laughs> it is. You know, I haven't been there so too long. You know, I've been yeah. there for seven and a half years. So, yeah, not like a big it. transition. Like, you know, it, it's, you know, you're going to great people in Kansas City, great organization as well. Absolutely. Take us through the, the pre draft process with them. Yeah. How much did you know that they were interested in you? And is there something interesting that stood out, you know, from your conversations or even a visit that you had with them? I think they, I didn't have a visit with them. I think they were interested a little later. Okay. You know, they, they showed late interest, which I thought was good. And uh, we had very positive conversations. You know, I love the coaching staff, the whole organization. You know, you can't speak more highly of, a, of another organization than the Chiefs. So I'm just so blessed and so fortunate to be a part of this. When you say that you didn't really hear from them until late in the process, when you have that checklist of teams, where, where did they fall for you, though? Because it's like you start looking and say, I know this team may need to end, this team may need to end. Were the Chiefs ever on that list for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. I knew, I knew they had a lot of interest in me. And, you know, someone that's going to take the time and be like, yeah, we're interested in you, like that, that automatic. I think that's so, like – to me, that's like I'm blessed, like a team that is even interested, you know? <laughs> right. So I, I was always, whatever team was interested in me, I was always high on them too. We had Jermaine Johnson on, you know, New, New York Jets draft pick. Yeah. And he's obviously yeah. with, with you here among the draft prospects invited uh, to Las Vegas for these festivities. He said he didn't sleep well last night. It, just a <laughs> lot going through his head. How about you? Take us through your day. Did you sleep soundly last night? Or was I it usually relaxing? get nine hours and I got about seven. Okay. You know, that, that's okay. pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> not not so good. I mean, you know, nine hours is a good amount, you know, right. for an athlete. Seven Le LeBron, is not. LeBron, Tony Gonzalez. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, seven isn't ideal for me. But it was it was all right. I woke up fine. Like I was I haven't been tired throughout the day or anything like that. It's so. amazing. So how do you stay stress free like through this whole process? Because you, I mean, you don't seem relieved. You seem just excited. You don't, you know, yeah. you're relaxed. And you're chill. I did everything I could do to get to this point. You know, I worked my butt off to get to this point. I did everything I could do. Uh, and I, I, it, all, it only took one team to fall in love with me and take me, you know. And I'm, I'm just so blessed, so fortunate. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, it, I can't even describe this feeling. You know, I feel like for the first time I've seen you smile. <laughs> and, and, and the reason why I say that is because at the Combine, you were, you're a business. You're like, I'm all business. No doubt. I'm business. This is who I am. And you go out there, have a great workout. And we see you yesterday at the uh, Play 60 event, and you're, I'm still all business. I'm just waiting. I'm here. And for the first time, I'm seeing you smile, see that joy. That, to, And when you got the phone call, just the first thing for you, meet with your family around, just the emotions that came over you. Yeah, well, you know, it, it, was, it was a longer wait, you know, but <laughs> right. uh, saw the phone ring. I, I was like, oh, my gosh, like I was so I wanted that. I picked it up. I was just like, ah, you know, <laughs> right. sigh, sigh of relief, you know, and, I saw the, the area code Kansas City, and you know I was like, oh wow, like this is this is awesome, this yeah. is awesome. So, one last thing for you, and we'll let you run. You know, you're not a finished product. Very few players are coming in the NFL, but I mean, especially you. This is a, a sport that you began to play a little bit later in life, and you have a water polo background. I mean, as you mentioned, you you know come from Greece, you know, while you're in your yeah. high school age. So, what are the things right away that you're anxious to just get started to to work on to continue to grow your game? First and foremost, it, it, it comes with getting in the film room with the coaches, meeting with the veterans, doing extra, learning from them, right? The first, yeah. the first and most important thing is, is learning from the people that have done it and done it very successfully. Obviously, with the Chiefs D-line, you know, there's, there's a lot of good, good players <laughs> yeah. on that D-line, you know, and, and guys that, that I'll work with and learn from, you know. So I'm, I'm blessed to, to be in that opportunity in that, in that room. And then, you know, for me, it's going to be all about practice, making the most out of practice, you know going against offensive tackles in the NFL, you know, being successful against them and making that translate to the game, you know, slowly and surely earning my stripes, earning the respects of, of the coaches, the, yeah. the organization, the fans, my teammates, and ultimately helping the team win. That's what it's all about.